Hi everyone, my name is Larry Flick. I will be your professor for Human Resource Management this fall semester 2022. I wanted to introduce myself and take you through our Blackboard class site. Please spend the time to watch the whole video as it will save you a lot of time going forward. Before uh, getting started, I want you to know that I will always be available to you throughout the course. You can call me at 203-858-6672. You can message me within our Blackboard class site or request a time to meet on WebEx. For those of you who would like to meet up front, I have planned a meeting on WebEx for Tuesday, August 30th at 6 p.m. where all of you are invited to attend. I will show you in a moment how to enter uh, WebEx meetings. Let's get started on our Blackboard class site. Hello again. Well, here we are on our Blackboard class website for human resource management uh, for the fall semester 2022. Uh, you will always land here when you enter our Blackboard uh, class website. And uh, each Monday, I will create an announcement, which will appear on the top. And the announcement will be uh, giving you the assignments for the week. Uh, it will provide information on any past assignments, papers, grades, and so forth. And just give you uh, a general uh direction that will be going for that week, that particular week. Now, if you scroll down here, um, I just wanted to mention a couple of things that I put on the bottom that I believe in. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. I will do everything I can to light a fire under you to learn this subject. I think human resources is good for every major, every person. So, uh, uh, I think you'll enjoy the course. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Uh, I'm going to make every effort to involve you, and that will be important to me. Uh, the next one is, if it matters to you, you will find a way. If it doesn't, you'll find an excuse. Uh, okay, well, let's go forward and take a look at, uh, let's start with getting started here, which is on the first page, there's a link right here. Um, here is a list of things to do from the top, okay? And, and I want you to read this all, and uh, uh, note that uh, there's a couple important things. Uh, one, if you don't, uh, I want you to send me a message uh, stating that you agree to and commit to the honor code. If you don't, I'm going to take 10 points off of every assignment until you do. So that's important that you make a commitment to the honor code. The other thing is I'm going to ask you to send me a picture and a short bio of yourself that I will put in, and I want you to send it via our, our uh, website uh, message system. I want you to get used to the message system because that's the way uh, and the only way I want you to communicate other than uh, telephone and uh, WebEx. <clears throat> so I will put together um, a, a page with our class with all of us on it and uh, uh, I want you to use that uh, as a way of communicating to other students so you know who they are and, and so forth. Um, Okay, so that's, that's uh, basically the, the start, the, the, the beginning of, uh, um, of the class and things to do immediately. The next and most important thing to do is um, purchase our textbook. We will be using Managing Human Resources by Scott Snell and Chad Morris, 19th edition, copyright 2023. It's brand new, hot off the press. Hopefully there, there won't be any issues or problems with it. Um, you can buy it directly from our TRCC bookstore. Uh, that would be one source. Or you can go directly to the publisher, Cengage Learning, 
uh, and and buy it there. I'm going to click on the on the link that takes us to Cengage Learning. Now, here's where you'll uh, come when you click on that link. I'd like you to click on and purchase MindTap, okay, and then here MindTap. Uh, managing human resources and it's $126 uh, and that should give you everything you want if you wanted to buy a hard copy I think it might be $10 more it, it's a three hole punch loose leaf hard copy of the text a lot of students do that okay um, let's go back to the announcements page and we pretty much covered uh, everything there, but I don't think we've talked about the rest of the things that are on the Getting Started page. Okay, we've gone through our text. You know how to buy it uh, and so forth. Recommend you do it sooner than later. And here's uh, when you get in, you're going to want to register uh, MindTap uh, and here are some video instructions, very important. So um, I'll show you uh, in a few minutes exactly where you would go to click to then register into MindTap. Here's an interesting um, summary that I have done. Uh, it, it basically tells you uh, the required elements of the course, the recommended elements, and the op optional elements and kind of tells you what you would have to do to get an A or a B. And it goes down to a B or a C or a C or a D. And uh, it might be a good thing for you to look at uh, initially. Okay, we're going to... Uh, oops, sorry. Well, we're going to go back to getting started again. I hadn't finished with that. The other thing in getting started is uh, the Blackboard exam tutorial. If you have not taken a Blackboard exam, you know that 5%, uh, well, you know that we will be having five exams during the semester and each will be worth 10 points, so there's 50% of your grade. So it's important that you maybe take a look at this tutorial. Here's another one that uh, you may want to see or may not, but it's uh, personally I think it's great. It's SQ3R reading method. If if you feel that you're not uh, you're not uh, uh, remembering what you're reading and it's you're having a hard time, you know, particularly when it comes to tests, view this video. It's an excellent way of studying. And then we have the Cengage uh, Technical Help Support. Uh, here, with this link's important if you have any issues uh, with, with Cengage. And then our TRCC support. So that pretty much covers the getting started. That's important. Okay. And now let's go down to the Syllabus and Schedules link. Okay. Um, here's the syllabus. I want you to read it completely all the way through. I mean, if there's uh, areas like learning disabilities and uh, there's a disability statement, uh, plagiarism, here's our honor code right here that I want you to commit to. But the, the really important thing here is the grade computation or grade scheme. There'll be five exams, each worth 10 points, uh, totaling 50%. Then there's MindTap chapter quizzes for each chapter worth 10%. There's three papers that will be due worth 10% each for 30%. And the discussion board for each chapter is worth 10%. So those are the grading um, uh, uh, elements, and that's pretty important to, to know, the rules of the game. Okay, let's go back to the syllabus and look at our class schedule. Here is a complete rundown, a complete rundown of, of all, every week and every assignment uh, throughout the course. As you can see, it goes all the way to the end, which will be December 18th. I would recommend that you put important dates, like the first paper due, the first exam, and so forth, on your personal calendar 
so that you don't miss an exam uh, and uh, and so forth okay so that's an important element uh, now let's go back here and to uh, the syllabus schedules and and look at college schedule uh, this is the college schedule as it stands now uh, August 29th the classes begin and <clears throat> It's just put here for your reference, so you can always go back and, and see last day to apply for December or January graduation and so forth. It's, it's all basically, important dates are all basically here, okay? Um, now what we're going to do is go back down to, uh, I think there's, okay. The college schedule we talked about, and then this is kind of an important, uh, or maybe not so important, but a, a graphic on, on uh, human resources. Okay, so now let's go to the very important link called course content. Of course, you'll see getting started at the beginning, which we covered. The class schedule, which we talked about, we put it right here at the, in the course content. That's the week one through uh, the end of the course. And then here's the our class link. And uh, uh, this is kind of an example that I put up on myself. And then a little uh, introduction uh, animation. And I will put this together. Uh, so all you need to do is message me your short bio and picture, and, and we'll be able to go from there. Okay, so that's our class. Now, here is an important link. Uh, Human Resource Management Fall 22. When you want to register with MindTap, which is important and you need to do, uh, you will click this link, and then you look at the video before on the Getting Started area, or in the Getting Started area, and it'll show you exactly what to do. And and so once you register, you only have to do it once, and then you're in it for the rest of the class. Okay, so that's an important link. And to get to it, you go to Course Content, and and then it'll bring you right to this page. Now, the course is organized on a week-by-week -week basis, and, and so let's just take a look at week one, okay? Week one, I get you to read the syllabus and do all the things that we talked about, getting started, and it assigns chapter one, read and study, uh, uh, the opportunities and challenges of human resource management, and then you need to take the quiz for that chapter, and then th there's a chapter video called Barcelona Restaurant Group. And uh, there's a website that I want you to review. And then um, there's uh, chapter one, uh, chapter, the video and the website, uh, you would go to the discussion board and answer the questions there. So that's the discussion board, basically. And the important thing, each week, I'm gonna give you the links to each of the assignments. For instance, here's read uh, up top here, uh, read and study the opportunities and challenges and so forth. Here's the link to that. Now that's going to take you into MindTap and there's where you need to register or you can't get into uh, the links won't work and you can't get into MindTap. Um, takes a moment to load, but with MindTap uh, it's interesting if you if you ever want to get to the index for each chapter the links of course are chapter by chapter by chapter or if you click the main link you'll get into all the chapters at once which uh, is certainly uh, easy to do you you can go on to uh, the index here and uh, you can click any of the uh, say technology challenges That'll take you right to technology challenges. And then you can uh, peruse through the pages, you know, like this, and, and read them. And on occasion, there's a little exercise, and there's highlights, and, and uh, I think it's very well done. Um, 
anytime you want it to read to you, you can click this button here. If you want larger um, fonts, you can click there. You can uh, you 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 can print any page, and and if there's question marks questions on the page, you can click there and so forth. If you want to get back to the index, here it is up here, and you're back in the index. Okay, so so these are the links on each week. Uh, we'll go to another week and look at it. the assignment. Uh, th this is the uh, quiz, and, and here's the link to the Barcelona video. And uh, I'll, we'll go through the discussion board in just a moment. But... Uh, uh, here's the website that I want you to review and so forth. So I think I think you get it. And this is just another uh, uh, picture that I think is kind of fun to look at. Okay, so uh, that's our, our course content. We, we might just quickly look at uh, another week, okay? Here's week four, and here again are the assignments. Um, here are the links to the assignments. Uh, the discussion board. There are flashcards, which are wonderful for studying. There's lecture slides. Those are PowerPoint slides and excellent in, to review for exams. And then there's a, uh, a one a link here called Practice It, okay, which allows you to uh, uh, create uh, your own testing, okay, customized practice quizzes, and th that's a great way to study for exams. Okay, so let's go, um, let's go back and, and start down the list. We've covered everything in the course content. Uh, the discussion board now, that's an important part of your grade. Um, there are questions. Let's look at, take a look at chapter one. And let's take a look. At, here's the video. Usually I like to order it. So this is chapter one, question one. And let's just take a look at that. Uh, will technology eliminate the need for human resource managers? I want you to answer that. You'd click reply and then submit when you complete. So. Uh, so those are, are the uh, discussion board questions that you should uh, work on each week. There's no deadline, but, but I think you'd be smart if you'd answer them uh, shortly after you read the, the textbook. Okay. So that's the discussion board. Now I want to take you into messages. Okay. This is how I want you to communicate to, with me and I will communicate with you individually only through our discussion, oh, I'm sorry, only through our course message system. So if you wanted to send me a message, you would put create a message, you would click to, you'd scroll down to say the instructor or any of the other students, you would move it over into recipients uh, you would write a subject, you would, uh, you know, uh, write your message. Note you can uh, have attachments to messages, and then you would submit. And, and that's, that's it, basically. Now, let's, let's um, those are the messages, and, and uh, here is the WebEx meeting room, the next one down. If you've read it all and you know how to work WebEx, just click on this link here and it'll bring you into a meeting room I've set up for the semester. So uh, it's really quite easy. All you need to do is either message best call me and set up a time. If if we're both available at that time and you're we're both in front of a computer, you could call me. And we could just start the uh, WebEx meeting right then and there. And I'm happy to have meetings with uh, individuals or groups, whatever works best for the class. Okay, so that's the WebEx uh, meeting room. And then here, my grades, uh, all of the assignments, all of the tests, uh, papers, everything 
will be in my grades. So you can check how you're doing uh, at any point in time. Uh, and you'll have the formula on how to calculate your grade uh, from the uh, syllabus, basically. And then the rest of them are college policies, uh, online help desk, uh, student resources, uh, college directory, and so forth. Uh, those are all directly from the college. Okay, uh, that finishes all that I have on our tour of our uh, class website. Uh, I want to wish you all the very best of luck. I hope you'll communicate with me frequently and uh, uh, hope to see you uh, on, what was it, uh, on August 30th, Tuesday, August 30th, uh, for a meeting on WebEx. Okay, goodbye for now.